It's a simple diamond shaped leaf um, that I've made in two sizes and tried out in several different colors and it's going to be made with wire so you'll need some 32 gauge wire. Um, you need the, such a large or a small size wire to go through the beads several times, some wire cutters to cut the wire, some size 11 seed beads. And the leaf does go nicely with the flower tutorial I posted earlier and if you'd like some written directions be sure to visit my blog and you can get some diag a diagram on the beaded leaf. We're going to make a smaller leaf today. And to begin the leaf you want to cut about 12 to 18 inches of uh, 32 gauge wire. And the wire is nice to work with because it acts as your needle. You don't need to thread anything. Um, first thing you'll want to do is put on three of the beads and take those down to the center of your wire. You want to make sure you have a tail, uh, enough tail on both ends to uh, bead the entire leaf. So you've got the three beads and the first bead will be your center and the next two will be the second row. So you take the wire end that doesn't have the beads on it and you're going to thread it through the opposite end towards that center bead you're holding. Sometimes things are easier said than done. All right, and you pull the two ends tight, and you've got your first two rows, a little uh, triangle of beads. The next row, you're going to add three beads, and I like when I'm threading the other end back through to hold them not to push them down to the very bottom, but to hold them. And place that other wire, wire and just push them on so they're on both wires. It's kind of whatever technique you find that works the best for you. I'm going to pull both of those ends tight. And you might have to straighten out so the first row is where it's supposed to be, and pull them tight, and you've got three rows. Next row is four beads, load up four beads and push them part way down. Take the opposite end of your uh, leaf and just slide those over so they're loaded onto both wires. And pull. You can pull them both at the same time. And flatten your leaf out. I do a little adjusting as I add each row. And there's four rows. One more row and make this five beads. And again, take the other end and you're going to thread it right through. both to get that row nice and tight. We're going to do one more, I usually repeat the center row of number of beads I do, so we're going to do another row of five to kind of soften the uh, 
soften the edge of that leaf. One more row of five, and then we'll be ready to start our decline to the other point of the bead, or excuse me, the leaf. So you started out with a row of one, two, a row of three, a row of four, a row of five, and a second row of five. And now you're ready to start the decrease. So we're going to decrease each row by one, so we add four beads. I usually bend the wire so it curves up slightly, so it's a little easier to hook those beads on. This 32 gauge wire is fairly easy to use and manipulate. It's very thin. And you can put it through, each bead can take at least four or five strands of it through. So it's very easy to manipulate. When you decrease, you want to kind of center it up so you get a nice decrease. But Pull that in to get a nice curve. Wire always seems to want to do something that you don't want it to. So we're down to three beads. We're going to slip the wire back through. It's kind of like bead weaving almost back and forth. Three beads, down to two beads. If you haven't noticed, the lids that I use to hold my beads are actually from the Gerber Baby Food plastic containers. The lids are great to hold the beads. And then also the the main compartments are nice because they've got a nice gentle lip to pour beads back in or if you're working with a lot of beads to hold them. I don't store them in the containers because the lids aren't particularly tight but uh, I do have many of them left from when my son was very was a little little one learning to eat. So we're on the last row of two, and now we just need to add one more bead to finish it off. This one's easy, you just thread that wire through the opposite end of one bead. Pull it tight. And now to finish off the leaf, I weave the wire back and forth between three and four rows, um, each wire, and then I clip it. And like I said, you can definitely fit um, several strands of this 32 gauge wire through these size 11 seed beads quite easily. Simple and it's being a little honorary. And there you have it. Your finished leaf. And I'll show you. Um, with the, the wire can be sewn down to a um, crazy quilt. It can be bent and manipulated to form a, uh, a soft leaf shape. 
that you want. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and if you'd like handwritten directions, please visit my blog. Thanks.